What's up everyone? This is Sterling from the Danger Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. I'm here with Zack Master today. Hello. And we recently got back from Taz's Gaming and got one of these $10 boxes where you have no idea what's in it other than cards, of course. <laughs> so we're going to open it up and see what we can get. Would you like to take the first handful? I'm going to go for the sleeved end. Oh wow, Toot Mask. So we got all sorts of stuff. This, there's so many cards it's not really worth naming everything off. Unless you get like a rare or a hollow or something. Wow, a magic card. Legacy of Darkness. Tension, you know, that's pretty cool. Is that Invitation? No, Invigoration. Got a couple XCs. Some old stuff in here. Wow. Wow. Check that out. Structured at Kaiba Monster Reborn. Or started at Kaiba, should I say. And then we have a DDD Stone King Darius. That's kind of cool. Swallow's Nest from WIRA. I'm not sure what that is. You got a Vylon that's a Shadow Foil. Oh no, it's a dual terminal. What? You got a dual terminal? Vylon Segment from Dual Terminal 6. That's pretty cool. One for one. It's pretty interesting. Oh, it looked like a shatter foil. Yeah, D spell, magic card. Do you sleep that? Sure, why not? Castle walls, that's pretty old. Recycling batteries. Another old card. That's pretty good because battery men are getting ready. Actually, that's a shatter foil from Battle Pack 3, isn't it? Yeah. Interesting. A couple of the noble nar Noble Arms cards, including a Shatter Foil, Battle Pack 3, Affidator, Realm of Light. Oh, let's see, I'm gonna go from this end of the box then. Blackwing card, do you run this? No, I don't like taking damage. No? No. Um, if I'm going to be building for that deck profile, Blackwings though, I'm going to need them. Okay. Especially in the story, considering. Yeah, we are going to be planning on doing something else cool. So, I didn't notice that right, right behind it. Morphronic card. Poison the Old Man from Magician's Force. Wow, that's older than... Wow. Got some pretty old stuff here. Heavy Storm First Edition from SD10. That was the Ancient Gear deck, right? Yeah. I think it was Gadgetron Dragon. Yeah. Ancient Gear, Gadgetron Dragon. Wow, an LOB monster egg. Pretty damaged. Some Christrons. A Red Eyes. It's interesting. Wabaku from the Yugi Evolution starter. Quite a few Yugi Evolutions all stuck in this one area here. I haven't seen that card before. Faustin Bargain? Mm hmm. Special, send in special summon. Ah, send one special summon monster on your side of the field to the graveyard. Special summon level four lower normal. Oh, that's for um, uh, what is they? Gemini's? It's for Gemini's, right? Maybe. It's interesting. It came out the same era. Magic Specter card. Ah, oh, we have a rare Switcheroo. It's interesting. That's from Raging Tempest, and then Spiritual Beast Tamer Window also from Raging Tempest. Another rare. Speedroid Pachinko Cart from Shining Victories. Link Monster. Firegrass from LOB. Yeah, you're right. That's a Link Monster. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Okay. My bad. It's a Pendulum Monster. Thank you, YouTube. <laughs> it's early in the morning. Another Pendulum in Metronome. A Shino Bird. Another LOB. Engraver of the Mark. It's Zoro. <laughs> And another LOB. There's a lot of old stuff in here. Gold Series 5 Zoma. That's interesting. Gold Series 5 Copy Knight. Labyrinth of Nightmare from Ancient Sanctuary. That's funny. Another Pendulum. Water Omnitrix First Edition from Metal Raiders. Wow. It's cool. Lots of old cards in this stack. Why did I put the spells with the monsters? Dragon Capture Jar. Fiend's Hand Mirror. Fissure. That's interesting stuff. So what do we got this time? Giant Trunade, that's pretty cool. Terror the Terrible. Master and Expert, wow. 
Those old norm those old normals. Hey, we got a rare in Space Dragster. That's cool. Another rare we have Fusion Parasites. The Kaiju files times two. I needed two of those. So that's pretty good. And we have a super rare! We have Circle of the Fire Kings, first edition from that structure deck. That's pretty cool. Didn't expect to get any supers out of this. Stack of Sprites Blessings, and we have Saber Reflection Rare. That's pretty cool. And we have March of the Monarchs. March of the Monarchs and the Prime Monarch. It's pretty interesting. Some Akiza stuff. Mountain. Oh, it's not a first dead, sadly. But it is a magic card. Pendulum Shift, I need that. Hey, Anamorph and a copy of Metamorphosis. That's really good for GOAT format. Field Barrier. All sorts of interesting stuff. Rekindling, that's about to get some new support that you can summon with it. I need that. Okay. Super Soldier Rebirth. Dark Factory of Mass Production. And another rare in Heretic have... Seal of Convocation. Um, by any chance, do you have any lava stuff still? I have a little bit of stuff. Not much. Lavas are pretty old. More pendulums. A token stampede, that's pretty funny. And perform a pow band! <laughs> oh, poor monkey board, it's banned. Space Ghost, it's pretty good. Why exactly is it banned? Um, let's take a look at it. Let's see. I think it's the monster effect. You can discard this card, reveal one or form power or odd eyes monster in your hand, and if you do, reduce the levels of monster opponent controls. No, it's not that one. It's gotta be the pendulum then. Unless you have a perform power card near all the pendulums on this card's pendulum, scale becomes four. During your main phase, if this card was activated this turn, you can add one level four perform power monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use perform power monkey board once per turn. So it adds any perform power from your deck, and there was a loop with it. So I'm gonna take the next stack now. So we have Perform Power Call. Eh, a Yusei card. It's pretty cool. Widespread Ruin, the alternate art from Millennium Pack? I think it's. M I L. Yeah. That's cool. Solidarity. It's hard to find. Hey, and Celestial Transformation from that structure deck. Trimed King. King Olam. Or King Golem, I'm not sure how that's pronounced. More Sprites Blessings. <laughs> Personal spoofing as a rare. World Legacy Clash. So we got some Circuit Break stuff too. So this it looks like the collection of things go from the beginning to the end. Prevalent Rat from Metal Raiders. Hey, Ground Collapse. That's interesting. A couple of limiter removals. A Summon Skull. We may end up being able to build the Yugi deck out of this. What do you think? A very trashed first edition SOD Ultimate Baseball Kid. I can't remember what that is for the life of me. SOD? Soul of the Duelist? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe Soul of the Duelist. A couple of Water Hazards. World Legacy Shadow. And then we have a rare Raikou Twilight Sworn Fighter. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it was Soul of the Duelist. Okay, I was right. And then we have a DDR Different Dimension Reincarnation. That's another interesting card. Yep. Another big old stack of stuff. So we got another DDR. Ah, some rares. We have Mausoleum of White and Weight and Zen Measures. Sacred Sword of Seven Stars. Never heard of that. Banish one level seven monster from your hand. Or face up on your side of the field. Draw two cards. Oh, that sounds broken as crap. Wait, Terminal World next? I've never actually seen it. I mean, I've heard about it, but I've never seen it. So then we have Exchange and Ectoplasma and some sleeves here for some reason. Along with a Flute of Summoning Dragon. Monster Reborn, Magic Card again. A new Dora. Another Pendulum. And then we have Spiral Mission. Which one's that? Assault? Yeah. Interesting. Hey, fusion conscription. Nice. 
Super Rejuvenation, that's banned. Earthbound Wave. Miraculous Descent. I don't know if we're going to need any of that. I think it comes with the deck. I was thinking, uh, Trick Stars. Ah. And then we have a Cursed Arborment Shadow Foil from... No, that's Mosaic Foil from Battle Pack 2. And we have Rare Constellar Tempest and Suture Rebirth. And then a Sleeved Return of the Monarchs. Lots of spells. Wow. Regretful Rebirth. Interesting. Tricky Spell 4. XYZ Dimension Splash. That's kind of cool. Emblem of the Dragon Destroyer. In a fairly beat up sleeve. And a Supervise! From the deck, right? Yep, that's a first ed from the from that structure deck. Wow. Sheen's Castle of the, in the Mist. Hey, a Yugi Chibi Sleeve. I always do need more of these things. Yep. Cold Wave. Chain Energy, that's pretty cool. And a Spider's Lair. Can you imagine playing three Chain Energies? Oof. That'd be, that'd be bad. I've, I've run against that before. That was bad. Toll. Mistaken Accusation. Toll, three Chain Energies, and then what would be a good one after that? Uh, how about Mage Power on whatever monster you have on the board? You know I'm right. Spell Chain. Mm, scapegoat. Or, or is, it, is it Spell Chain? Ever, uh, ever a thousand per spell? Not sure. The opposite of Chain Blast. I am not sure. That's an old card. Let's see, we have Super Koi Koi Rare. Another Sprite's Blessing. What is this? Our third place at total worth? I think so. Psychonesis. <laughs> Another Sprite's Blessing, really. Another Mausoleum of White Rare. And then we have a Super Rare from Code of the Duels. DDD Wave High King Caesar. Sonic Bird from Gold Series 1. It's interesting. A Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. Why is there a monster there? Some really old stuff here, wow. We have Amazonas Village Rare. A Premature Burial from Structure Deck 1, first edition. And it's in semi-decent condition, too. It's really cool. Another Tri-Mid card. Wow, that's a really old Metal Raiders Horn of Light. A little beat up, though. Nightmare Wheel. Firefox. That was always a good card back then. And we end with another Nightmare Wheel. It's pretty funny. So what else do we got here? Taking a huge stack, are you? Descending Lost Star. Find seven cup of ace. Oh geez, I'd love that. Another one! Wow. We have so many Sprites Blessings. Red Warg. Some Vendred stuff. Bunch of Code of the Duel stuff. Hey, a Boogie Trap. Rainbow Gravity. Unpossessed. And we have a Ultra Rare in the form of Final Gios from the movie pack. It's pretty cool. And we have a Pendulum Reborn Rare. And a Pendulum Switch Rare. Another Monster Reborn. What sets this one from? Uh... Starter Deck Joey. That's not bad. A Magic Card one from Starter Deck Kaiba. Wow, that's old. Trini of Uniform Nomenclature. And a Nightmare Steel Cage. That's interesting. Mask Change. Some more Performer Pal stuff. Ooh, it's interesting. Ring of Magnetism from Starter Deck Pegasus and another Chain Energy. And Pigeon Holding Book of Spell before it was what spellbook did that become? Spellbook Organization. Yeah, Spellbook Organization. There we go. We have Sheen Spy. 
I haven't seen that card in a while. I don't think they ever ran it, did they? Not that I'm aware of. Yeah. So, Swords of Revealing Light. That's always a good card to get. Hey, one of the spirit messages. Do you think we can spell final? No. No way. <laughs> Let's see if we can. The alternate art Toon World from Millennium Pack. It's pretty cool. A Gigabyte. A Book of Life from Gold Series 5. That's pretty cool. Place at a Goblin Circus and another Book of Life. Let's see. Herculean Power. Savage Coliseum. And a starter deck Yugi Monster Reborn. Then we got a rare Shunui Spirit Master. A rare Iron Chain Dragon Synchro Monster. Our first Synchro. A Crab Turtle as a Ritual. Gotta move things back a little bit. <laughs> got a little bit too much stuff up here. Elemental Hero Necroid Shaman Fusion Monster. And a Flame Swordsman from Retro Pack 1. Too bad it's not first edition. That would be worth a little bit of money. Heavy Storm, a Megamorph. S looks like some stuff from the Dinosaur deck popping up here. Ah, Bazoo the Soul Eater from the Chaos deck that gave us Chaos the, Sh Chaos the Shadow Monarch, or Caius if you prefer to pronounce it that way. First edition, too. A few more cards from the deck. It's pretty interesting. I think I'm going to set that aside. So I definitely like the Bazoo. We got a negate attack, and we have defense draw rare, and rush recklessly rare from Metal Raiders, and it's a magic card. That's really cool. Some more stuff from the dinosaur deck. Maybe we'll be able to get the full deck out of that. That'll be interesting. Volcanic eruption, Tyranno Infinity. Yeah, it looks like we've got just about everything from the original dinosaur structure deck, except for the big bad boss monster. And we have Spirit Message L. So we've got two of the Spirit Messages so far. It's pretty cool. We have a rare Secret Sanctuary of the Spellcasters. And a Prohibition Magic Card. Rare from Pharaoh's Servant. Wow, it's a little dinged up, but that's pretty cool. Dragon Shield Standoff. I is... heard uh, something about the Spellcaster. Oh, I see a secret. Is that a secret? No, and we're not going to look at that yet. What's Standoff? Target one face-up attack position effect monster on each side of the field. If both monsters are still face-up on the field, negate their effects. Then if both monster effects were negated by this effect, as long as those monsters remain in face-up attack position, they cannot be destroyed by battle or unaffected by other card effects. And also, they cannot attack or change their battle positions. Wow. Why is nobody running that? Mostly because thing most things today can't be targeted, isn't it? No, most things don't stay on the field for more than a turn. Yeah, that too. And we did get a secret rare. We got a first edition Legendary Collection Joey's World Gateway to Dark World. That's pretty Beautiful. cool. That's actually going back into a sleeve. <laughs> so we got a resonator thing. Uh, D-Spell. First edition from starter deck Joey. Magic card, that's pretty good. For the most part, this looks like it, it has the contents of what a sealed box would look like. For certain stuff, yeah. I mean, rarity-wise, it's got everything from pretty much everywhere in the series throughout the years of its So these are looking start. pretty fun to open. Who knows what else we might get out of these. I, I plan on coming back and getting a few more of these. They're only 10 bucks. Seriously. Yeah, only 10 bucks. Then we got a dark contract with the gate for the final card. What do you think I could get for my DDs? DDDs. I don't know. So we got a magic formula in a sleeve. That's pretty cool. Just desserts. Another copy of Rekindling. It's good because I need three of that. And a Fire King Avatar Kirin. I need fire things that can be summoned. Uh, fire things with 200 defense. Actually, so I can go so for a Quasar build. Fire Kings. So we got a another card in the sleeve here. We have Monster Recovery. Then we have a... Is that a first edition? No. Oh, so sad. That was close. That would have been good for a first ed. This section's all sorts of... All over the place, isn't it? Here, let me move some of this out of the way for you. Amazing Pendulum. Hand me that real quick. The Amazing Pendulum there. I need that. 
See, this is the card I was talking about. Narrow pass. Yeah, you were telling me about this the both other Both players have to have two or less on their side of the field. Once it's activated, both players can only normal or set up to two additional times as long as it's on the field. You said summons, period. Well, it's been quite a long time since yeah. I've ever seen that card. Right. Psychic Blade. A couple of dark energies. Hey, the original Toon World art for everyone to see. That's from Starter Deck Pegasus. If, if you've never seen the original art for Toon World in Yu-Gi-Oh!, and you're a player, you should stop immediately. And go take a look at it. It's no, really cool. I mean I mean just stop playing hey, in look, general. Puffball We have our spirit monster. We have a puffball. This one with Etic you. It's pretty cool. Misfortune, haven't seen that card in forever. Some limited rules. Hey, and a black rare from Battle Pack 1 first edition snatch steel. It's interesting. Let's see, we got a Dez Kangaroo. It's interesting. Place at a Shithonian Alliance. That's good for Chaz, for people that want to build Chaz decks. And we have a Twin Headed Thunder Dragon times two. A Steam Gyroid Fusion. Shino Baroness Peacock. Performance of Sword Hungry Burger. Crab Turtle. As rituals. And a couple more. We got, let's see, a couple of the digital bugs. That's pretty cool. So you can get just about everything. I haven't seen a Link Monster yet, though. But there's not very many. That is a those. good card. Vanity's called? What's it do? Um, activate as a chain link four or higher, negate everything else in the chain. But you also have to pay half your life points, though. That's interesting, though. And I'm going to get the last stack here since you started off. So we got a return from different dimension from that structure deck again. The DD Warrior Lady from it. Dimensional Alchemist. DD Assailant. Wow. So we got quite a bit of that deck. It's actually pretty cool. And they're all first edition as well. So we got a Soul Release Magic card. Another return from different dimension. That's from EP1, whatever that is. Any idea what EP1 is? Because I seriously don't. So I gotta look that up later. Some Destiny Hero cards. I'd like to build a traditional Chaos deck. That does seem fun. I wanna get three copies of the original one. Especially for stories. So for I story can, mode, I yes. Um, compete. we keep referencing this thing called story mode, so I'm gonna take a, pa a pause real quick. Um, we plan on doing a brand new Yu-Gi-Oh series called Yu-Gi-Oh Story Mode, and what that is is where we're going to go and we're gonna create our own Yu-Gi-Oh story, our own Yu-Gi-Oh series here on the channel, and we're gonna showcase duels. We're gonna talk about what's going to be happening in the story, just like the actual TV show, and we're gonna give reviews of each episode. Show you the duels from them. This is going to be an online book that we're going to be writing for Wattpad. So when when we get the first couple of chapters done, we'll start doing the reviews on them and posting them up on the channel for you guys and leaving the link to the Wattpad in the description. But plan on watching that. It's gonna We're going to go through the entire series. We're going to bounce in and out of certain areas. We're starting in 2005 GOAT format as well for all you people that like GOAT format. So I just thought I'd clarify what we're talking about there so we got a dark we got a dark blade chick this this speaking of goat format chick scorpion the yellow let's see when this card inflicts battle damage your opponent's life points you can select and activate one of the following effects return one card in the field to the other's hand seek one card in the top of your opponent's deck your opponent does not see the card and return it to the top of the opponent's deck that's only a 1000 why was that limited to one like seriously wow Feel that, that feels really weird compared to a lot of the cards, doesn't it? It almost feels like it might be a fake. I think it was limited to one specifically because it's of, its, of its first bulletin. Yeah, probably. Then we have a rare Destroy a Source. First edition. That's cool. In good condition. Yeah, I know. Things like that are getting hard to find. Another Hydro Get On. So I think that's three Hydro Get On. So I think the only thing we're missing from the original Dinosaur deck now, other than a couple of the Counter Traps... Was Superconductor Tyrano the big one, the 33? Yeah. Which don't you have from the I box? have, yes. Um, Yeah, I have a couple of those from back when I bought it way back in the day, but I might be able to rebuild the entire deck just out of this. Gillosaurus. It's Baby definitely Saurus. starting to look like it. Oh, yeah. And there's the MST from it, Fossil Excavation. And then we go back to that other structure deck we keep finding for Dimensional Fissure. Chaos Rider Gustav. DD Warrior. DD Survivor. Helios, the Primordial Sun, and then leaving that, we have Grand Convergence from um, 
from Elemental Justice. Wow. Um, Enemy of Justice. Then right back into it with DDM Different Dimension Master. Exiled Force. Another Bazooka Soul Eater. I'm going to set that to the side again. Another Grand Convergence. And then we go to a 5D's Structure Deck 1 Exiled Force. That's pretty cool. And a Speed Warrior. Soul Release. Back to that again. Reinforcement of the Army. Different Dimension Reincarnation. Wow. I think we might have half the deck out of that, too. Golden Homunculus. Sam Sarah Kaiser. Another Dimensional Fissure. Enemy Controller. Back on Structure Decks were good. Remember when Chaos came out? That thing was crazy. Vanish anything. Some more newer things here. And we got another Retro Pack 1 Flame Swordsman. That's nice. Toon Summon Skull. Some trap cards here. Serpent Suppression. That was for Venoms, wasn't it? Or Nope, yeah. that's Reptilians, my bad. What do you think Venoms were? Reptilians and Venoms were two different archetypes. It doesn't stop the fact that they work pretty well together. Yeah, they do. They, they both still do sp uh, Venom counters. Yep. We have Secret Paths to the Treasures from Pharaohistic Guardian. Time oh! This one's a first ed in decent condition. Nice! And we have... What looks like our last rare out of the box, Spiritualism, Magic Card from Labyrinth of Nightmare. Thank you, Brain. Oh, I keep wanting to say Legacy of Neos for some reason. And our last card is Blind Destruction, also from from Labyrinth of Nightmare. So I want to thank you guys for watching. This was a really fun video to do. We got. I'm going to see if I can find that out of the super rare. Now, I know holographs aren't guaranteed out of this. Matter of fact, it was supposed to be all commons. But as you can tell, we got a lot more than just commons in here, so... Let us flash through this real quick, showing off everything. I mean, we got a dual terminal card even, so... This was definitely a lot of fun. Would you plan on buying one of these? Yeah. So there's definitely a lot of good stuff you can get. Now this comes from Taz's Gaming in Alliance, Ohio. Uh, how he builds these is he just digs right into his random cards. They're in a big box there that you can go through at any time, so you can actually stack these in your favor. Though so he does, as he goes through it, he does go kind of like that to see if there's any, like, random hollows he came across. He did pull to the side an original Shonen Jump Blue Eyes, which kind of made me sad, but I ended up buying that, so. We only ended up getting NNL, sadly, on that, and we got our Spirit Monster. Kribo. It seems like every opening we do with stuff like this, we end up with a Kribo. You notice that? Our little spirit guy. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'm Danger. I'm Zach Master. And this is the Danger Ego channel. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Danger Ego channel, signing off.